Is it time to say goodbye to ChatGPT? Well, there's a new technology ready to send it packing, and it's called Google Gemini. Uh, trust me, it's ready to change everything we know about generative AI. By the end of this video, you'll discover everything about this new AI, including how it works and how you can use it to your advantage. Let's start. What exactly is Google Gemini? Gemini has been termed the future titan of artificial intelligence. Crafted to be the most potent AI ever conceived, Gemini boasts advanced capabilities. It engages in human-like conversations, comprehends languages effortlessly, decodes images with finesse, proficiently generates code, conducts data analytics, and serves as the creative spark for developers crafting new AI apps and APIs. Soon, Gemini promises to spread and potentially power a multitude of Google's products and services, shaping the digital landscape. If you've been following the news, you must have noticed that the past year has witnessed an intense artificial intelligence war. Heavyweights like OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google clashed, each unveiling increasingly formidable models. Google, not an initial contender in the AI arena, now thrusts itself into the forefront with Gemini. The stage was set on December 6, 2023, as Gemini made its debut. The coming days will unveil the unfolding saga as this groundbreaking AI model steps into the spotlight. Dennis Hassabis, CEO and co-founder of Google DeepMind, sheds light on Gemini's genesis. This powerhouse of AI emerges from a collaborative effort across Google, including the diligent minds at Google Research. Built from scratch, Gemini stands out for its multimodal prowess, seamlessly comprehending and amalgamating various information types – text, code, audio, image, and video. It's not just an AI, it's a versatile, all-encompassing intelligence. Features of Google Gemini From the first day Gemini was unveiled at the Google I.O. Developer Conference on May 10th, its promise as a next-generation AI was evident. Led by the collaboration of Google's brain team and DeepMind, the project built upon the foundational technology known as Palm 2, or Pathways Language Model 2. This technology is the driving force behind AI capabilities across a spectrum of Google products, including Google Cloud Services, Gmail, Google Workspace, and hardware devices like Pixel smartphones and Nest thermostats. During the initial stages of development, Gemini distinguished itself by being naturally multimodal. Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, emphasized this aspect, stating that Gemini was created from the ground up to be multimodal. This term, according to Google, it goes beyond the common understanding of AI working with different content types like images or text. For them, multimodal means much more. In a notable update on October 24th, during Alphabet's third quarter earnings, Pichai hinted at the monumental task Gemini was undertaking. He spoke of laying the foundation for what he envisioned as the next generation series of AI models to be launched throughout 2024. The pace of innovation, he noted, was remarkably impressive. Multimodal AI is not a new concept, with companies like OpenAI and Microsoft offering generative AI technologies that handle various data formats. However, these early systems only scratched the surface of true multimodal technology, lacking efficiency in integrating different content and data formats. What sets Gemini apart is its aspiration to replicate the complexity of the human brain. Humans excel at multitasking and understanding diverse data formats, such as text, words, sounds, and visuals. This capability allows us to comprehend the world around us, respond to stimuli, and creatively solve problems. Crucially, Gemini is not a singular model, but a combination of different AI models orchestrated to achieve synergy. This includes machine learning and AI models for graph processing, computer vision, audio processing, language models, coding and programming, and 3D models. The Different Types of Gemini Among Gemini's variants, 
Gemini Nano stands out as the light version, available in two sizes, Nano 1, 1.8 billion parameters, and Nano 2, 3.25 billion parameters. Designed for mobile devices, it will soon preview in Google's AI Core app via Android 14 on the Pixel 8 Pro app. Gemini Nano will power features like summarization within the Record app and suggested replies for messaging apps. On the other hand, Gemini Pro, running on Google's data centers, powers applications like Google Bard, a chatbot similar to Microsoft's Copilot. It's set to integrate into various Google tools, including Duet AI, Google Chrome, Google Ads, and the Google Generative Search Experience. Gemini Pro is positioned as more effective than GPT-3.5 in tasks like brainstorming, writing, and summarizing content. The most capable model in the Gemini collection, Gemini Ultra, is not yet widely available. Trained to be natively multimodal, it excels in comprehending nuanced information in text, code, and audio. Gemini Ultra surpasses current state-of-the-art results on a substantial number of benchmarks used for LLM development, around 30 out of 32. Google Gemini vs. ChatGPT For any new AI that emerges, there's always a battle of comparison, and Google Gemini isn't excluded from this trend. The comparison between Gemini and ChatGPT extends beyond sheer parameter numbers. While ChatGPT 4.0 boasts an impressive 1.75 trillion parameters, Gemini is projected to surpass this with a reported 30 to 65 trillion parameters. Huge, right? However, an AI's prowess isn't solely defined by parameter size. Unlike ChatGPT, which primarily processes text, Gemini is designed to handle diverse data types, including text, images, and more. This makes Gemini a more versatile AI, capable of comprehending and generating content across various mediums. One significant factor contributing to Gemini's purported dominance is Google's substantial investment in computational power. To train Gemini, Google employs TPU v5, advanced training chips that can coordinate a staggering 16,000 384 chips simultaneously. This unparalleled computational power sets Google apart, as no other entities are currently equipped to undertake such extensive training endeavors. The choice of training data further underscores Gemini's potential. Google possesses an extensive dataset, estimated at around 40 trillion tokens, which is equivalent to hundreds of petabytes or the content of millions of books. This dataset, verified by semi-analysis, surpasses the combined data used to train ChatGPT 4.0. Notably, Google's dataset includes a wealth of code-only data, a crucial element in training Gemini to process both code and non-code information. Semi-analysis anticipates that by the end of 2023, Gemini could outpace ChatGPT 4.0 by a factor of 5, potentially reaching a staggering 20 times greater processing power. This projection showcases Gemini's potential to smash ChatGPT 4.0 in terms of AI capabilities. How Gemini will be used The broad spectrum of potential use cases includes content generation, customer support automation, and even advancements in fields like healthcare and research. Companies and individuals stand to benefit from Gemini's capabilities in several ways. Improved natural language processing can enhance customer interactions, making chatbots and virtual assistants more sophisticated and responsive. Content creation may witness a revolution, with AI aiding in the generation of high-quality written material, saving time and resources. In the business realm, decision-making processes could become more informed, as Gemini's advanced capabilities enable thorough analysis of vast datasets, providing valuable insights. Moreover, educational institutions can leverage Gemini to enhance learning experiences, offering personalized and context-aware educational content. 
The global impact of Gemini extends to knowledge sharing on an unprecedented scale. With responsible AI at its core, Google envisions billions of people benefiting from innovations that prioritize ethical considerations. The Future of Google Gemini One thing is sure, Google's Gemini is poised to shape the future of artificial intelligence by ushering in a new era of large language model, also known as LLM development. As Google progresses on its path to reassert dominance in the AI landscape, Gemini is anticipated to play a pivotal role. One significant aspect of Gemini's future impact is its potential to catalyze innovation. As the AI landscape evolves, developers will have access to a robust tool that can comprehend and generate nuanced language, opening up avenues for creative applications across various industries. The company envisions a future where AI is not just powerful but also responsible. This implies a commitment to ethical AI practices that prioritize transparency, fairness, and accountability. In its forward-looking strategy, Google is committed to a perpetual evolution of Gemini's capabilities. The primary thrust of this enhancement initiative revolves around careful improvements in planning and memory functions. Google aims to transcend existing limits by expanding the content window. This is a pivotal aspect in the framework of Gemini. By enlarging this window, Google seeks to augment the system's proficiency in cohesively processing vast amounts of information. The emphasis on effective bulk information processing signifies a commitment to not only keeping pace with evolving technological demands, but also staying ahead in the realms of artificial intelligence and information management. As the technology matures, it has the potential to bridge language barriers, facilitating seamless communication and collaboration across diverse cultures. If Gemini supplants Palm 2, expect it to drive innovation across Maps, Docs, Translate, and the entire spectrum of Google Workplace and Cloud offerings, influencing both software and hardware realms with the introduction of novel products. This aligns with Google's broader mission of fostering innovation and ensuring that Gemini remains at the forefront of cutting-edge advancements in the dynamic landscape of AI and data processing. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.